We've got a major hurricane developing though. In fact, with Hurricane Lee, it became a monster cat four in just this afternoon. It's been rapidly intensifying throughout the day. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy joins me live and local from outside Griffin. We have our eyes peeled on this one because it's just too soon to let our guard down anywhere from really Key West up through Maine. You've got the different scenarios. Yeah, that's right, Chris. Uh, once this actually makes it to the Bermuda Triangle, there's a lot of different things that could happen. We're uh, we're confident that this is going to miss the Caribbean. You know, it's it's a really intense storm, but it is going to miss the Caribbean. But then once it gets to, you know, around Tuesday next week, there's a lot of different things that can happen. And that's all thanks to what happens with the Bermuda High. So let's take a look at it. The Bermuda High is that semi permanent area of high pressure that's usually between Bermuda and the Azores and the North Atlantic. And how strong it is will determine uh, Lee's exact track going into next week. So here's the first scenario. The Bermuda High is really strong. That's what will likely cause Lee to make a, that northward turn a little bit later than what it uh, otherwise could. Uh, that's when it could possibly brush against the North Carolina coast and then up towards New England it is where it would track. This is the least likely scenario, though. This is a, around a 10% chance, I would put, of actually happening. Then the second scenario is if the Bermuda High is weaker than expected. That's when the northward turn happens a little bit earlier than what most models are showing. Uh, that's when it could brush up against Bermuda, then curve back out to sea. This is somewhat what likely we're giving it around a I'd give it around a 30% chance of actually happening. And then you've got the third scenario, which is somewhere in between a moderate Bermuda high where it makes that northward turn somewhere in the middle between those two scenarios. In this scenario, it likely brushes up against New England sometime late next week and then tracks towards Nova Scotia and eastern Canada. This would uh, in all likelihood likely miss the Carolinas. That's the good news for us would definitely give us choppy surf heading into next week. But the good news is for us, it would likely be far enough away for us to miss a lot of those direct impacts that they could otherwise see heading into next week in New England. We'll definitely keep our eyes on it because the intensification has just been incredible with this storm so far, dropping 30 millibars in like six hours. Just wild how fast the storm is intensifying. So we'll definitely keep our eyes on it. For now, reporting live for WIFF News 4, meteorologist Griffin Hardy, I'll send it back to you.